Hello from wherever you are. Coming back from Pokemon cards, I was amazed with the number of new artists, as well as the breadth of art styles within each of these new Pokemon sets. In just a few short months, I've seen everything from colored pencils, to paintings, to 3D clay models, to graphic art, as well as impressionist designs. It's one of the reasons why I go through each of the comments when I do my pack pulls, instead of being someone who goes straight to the big hit and ignoring all the comments in the process. I think it's important to appreciate the art and the time that went into each of these cards. And yes, even the comments. So this new artist profile series I'm going to start will give them that appreciation. So that the next time we as collectors open a pack, we could start to notice the artists and maybe even recognize their unique art style. I've enlisted the help of my girlfriend for a Pokemon art challenge. We'll each be pulling one pack of 151 today and trying to draw all the cards in a collective collage. And then I'll be providing a little bit of an artist profile for some of the artists that we pull today. Hello. Hello everyone. We're going to try to draw all the Pokemon that we get in our cards. She's going to draw the Pokemon from her packs and I'm going to draw the Pokemon from my packs. We each of course get one energy card. And for that energy card, we get to change one of the typing of the Pokemon that we get. So we kind of have uh, creative freedom to change the Pokemon from the packs. All right. Open. So you know that the uh, live card is going to be on one side. So live card, we moved it aside. We don't need that. Then we're going to take this and we're going to move it over there. And then we flip. Okay, so you have to turn one of yours into an electric type, and I have to turn mine into a grass type. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. Okay, should we do this? Yeah, we'll do it one at a time. Yes. And... Go. Ooh, I get to go Eevee. You have the Machop. You have the Machop. Grimer. Porygon. Weedle. Electabuzz. <laughs> Zubat. Rhyhorn. Scyther. Giovanni's Charisma. Oh, I don't know how we're going to draw. I guess you could try to draw Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> Charmeleon. Rhydon. Oh, I have the Giovannis too. Nidorino. 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 Oh, you get Chansey. Chansey. That's going to be cute. You're going to so do a good cute. job with that. Growlithe. Kadabra. Wait, I only have... Do I have one left and you have... We have one more. Okay. And Go. Electrode. So we got Electrode. we got really bad packs, but <laughs> that's all right. That seems to be my luck. Narumi Sato embarked on her Pokemon art journey with the Shining Fates expansion in February 2021. As a relatively new artist, she has quickly made a name for herself as a colored pencil artist, displaying a profound affection for Eevee. This passion became evident when she secured the runner-up position in the Pokemon Card Illustration Grand Prix, thanks to her remarkable Eevee artwork submission. Her dream soon transformed into reality when the world got to witness her exceptional betrayal of Eevee in all its glory as part of the 151 set. And guess what? We've just pulled that masterpiece today. To date, Sato has illustrated a total of 39 cards, with her most recent additions being Eevee, Phantop in both the Obsidian Flames and the Howling cards, and Sudowoodo in the Paladea Evolve. Don't forget to keep an eye out for Minin and Snorret in the upcoming release of Paradox Rift. Hungry Clicker or as you'll see on Pokemon cards, HNCL, had a major debut with the Pokemon Company, releasing Lucario promo as part of the Crown Zenith Elite Trainer box. Hungry Clicker uses a thoughtful mix of shading with vibrant colors, as seen in the 151 versions of Giovanni's Charisma. To date, Hungry Clicker has illustrated 10 cards, but I expect that to change after the positive response from Lucario and recent inclusions of Scarlet and Violet's Houndoom and Paldea Evolved Tyranitar. You'll want to find yourself a Tapu Coco EX next week if you want to complete your Hungry Clicker collection.
After a 20-year hiatus due to a legal dispute, Kadabra finally makes its triumphant return to Pokemon cards in the 151 set. No one is more deserving of the honor to illustrate this card than the legendary Mitsuhiro Arita, one of the original artists behind Pokemon cards, with an impressive portfolio of over 622 illustrated cards. Yet, none more iconic than the original base set Charizard. Personally, my top pick has to be the Houndoom from the Neo set, which is a pretty bold choice coming from a cat guy like myself. According to Bulbapita, Arita's artistic style has evolved significantly over the years. In his early days, he was known for blending watercolors and pastels, but nowadays he employs more vibrant colors and intricate shading to bring out the realistic beauty of Pokemon. If you happen to stumble upon a Rita design card, make sure to hold onto it tightly. These collectibles are true gems in the world of Pokemon. At the beginning of the video, we pulled a lightning energy as well as a grass energy. We mentioned we would change the typing of one Pokemon that we pulled from the 151 pack. Can you guys figure out which two that we had changed? Comment below. Thank you so much for getting to this point, and if you want to see more like it, please subscribe and I'll make sure to do more artist profiles. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye bye.